Hey guys, so the Galaxy S9 is back in the news. There's been some really important stuff out in the air. Uh, we know that Samsung is working really hard on the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, and they are expected to go in mass production as soon as next month. So just today, Samsung unveiled the power of the Galaxy S9, the heart that runs the beast, the new and improved Exynos 9810 chipset, which you'll probably see inside of the Galaxy Note 9 as well. So the new Exynos 9810 chipset is still based on the 10 nanometer process, but a second generation 10 nanometer process with improved custom CPU cores based on the Exynos M3 architecture, which is expected to be the most powerful Android architecture ever. We also have an upgraded GPU along with the new LTE modem with first in the industry to have support for 6CA. This new 6CA modem will allow up to 1.2 Gbps download speeds compared to the 1 Gbps speed of the 5CA modem that we had inside of the Galaxy Note 8. Thanks to this new modem, the Galaxy S9 will be 5G ready. There's no details about the GPU, but it said that it will be the most powerful GPU in the Android world. Guys, we're reaching that point where numbers don't really matter. Like honestly, even Snapdragon 835 is enough for everything when it comes to the real life performance by manufacturers that like to push boundaries every year. Now, if you ask me about my experience with the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8, I would say I've been pretty satisfied with the performance and the battery like my S8 Plus is months old and still it came second in the all-star battery drain test that I did recently so uh, just imagine what additional improvement we'll see on the Exynos 9810 in terms of battery I can't wait to test it out also Samsung recently made a video mocking the iPhone 10 actually all the iPhones from the start and this part right here where they made fun of the notch is a lifesaver this tells us that Samsung has no plan plans on having a notch design on their future Galaxy phones. There is no leak out there that says anything about notch, so most probably the bottom bezel is going to get thinner, but largely it will retain its current infinity design as seen in the latest leaks, which is awesome. The main change will happen at the back of the phone as the leakster says that the back will get changed massively. Now guys, it's been done, it's decided, not official, but I think Samsung has decided not to include an in-display fingerprint scanner with the Galaxy S9 series. Instead, we'll see the fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone, just like the current Galaxy S8 models. They are indeed working on an in-display fingerprint scanner as we have seen in the recent patents, but Galaxy S9 is not the phone to have an in-display fingerprint scanner. Maybe the Galaxy Note 9 will be, but that's too far to think. Now, I don't think it's like a deal breaker thing, but still something we wish to see on a phone. On a Samsung phone, I guess we have to wait a little longer. I just hope that Samsung would place the fingerprint at a better position on the Galaxy S9, uh, which I think they will definitely do after what they did with the Galaxy S8. So we have heard that Samsung is also working on a 3D facial scanner of its own. And this tech has been amazing on the iPhone X. Like I've been using my iPhone X ever since it came out. And so far it works 99% of the time. No need for Touch ID. Apple is so confident that they are removing Touch ID from iPads as well and introducing True Depth camera system everywhere. Because of all this Face ID success, Samsung may introduce its own 3D facial scanner with Galaxy S9. Again, it took Apple years to make such technology, so we'll see if Samsung can make it in time or not. The Galaxy S9 will definitely get dual cameras on the back. Uh, the combination could be 12 plus 24 megapixel sensor, which they recently announced. As for the announcement, it is expected to be at the end of February 2018 at MWC. So yeah guys, that's all we have on the Samsung Galaxy S9. The fingerprint scanner is still on the back of the phone, but I just hope it would be on a better position. Again, let me know if that is something like a deal breaker thing for you, or are you still up and ready for the Beast Galaxy S9? Let me know and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.